biological life, biological life has this energetic component. Your prayers, your alignments can change the way this virus runs, can make this virus less bad. So before we do anything else, right now, let's do this together, okay? I'd like you to close your eyes. Stop writing all those crazy comments. It's going to go a million miles an hour over there. <laughs> Can't even read that stuff. Just close your eyes for a minute. Take a nice deep breath. Feel yourself getting more and more grounded and centered. And imagine the planet surrounded with light. Imagine the planet bathed in this beautiful light. A healing, cleansing, purifying light. Imagine this light easing all of the difficulties. Imagine this light changing the frequencies of this possibly man-made virus. Look at those molecules in your mind. Look at molecules. See the molecules. Look at those little molecules. See them rearranging beneficial mutations of this virus to make it less and less and less of a problem. Your thoughts have power. And as you meditate with me now, and as you pray with me now, you are changing those molecules. You are rearranging those molecules. I want you to allow yourself to believe that it's possible. We have the science. I showed you the book where I wrote about it. Breathe deeply. And imagine light going into those little viruses. And imagine them rearranging. And imagine those molecules becoming less lethal. Whatever stuff they put in this thing, if it is artificial, it's changing around, it's retooling itself, it's not as big as it was, it's not as bad as it was. And I want you to feel gratitude for yourself. Because when you are in a time of testing like this, when it's emotional, when it's scary, when it's sad, just let yourself be grateful for the life that you have, for the friends who've smiled at you, the people, the family members that you know. Just be grateful for them. Send them love. Don't forget to call them. Stay in touch. Reach out. Be kind. Don't attack people on the internet right now. Don't get angry. Go gently. Move slower. Let yourself relax. And visualize everything healing on the planet, becoming more and more perfect, more and more complete in every way. You can do this. Your thoughts have power. And more than anything, I ask you, I beg you to love yourself. I want you to feel gratitude for your life. I really don't think this is the end of the world at all. I think it's the Great Awakening. But even if it was, I believe you are immortal. I believe your life will go on throughout eternity in some form. Death is a transformation. There are so many people who have reported a near-death experience where they go through that process and they find people that they loved who are no longer alive greeting them in a beautiful field. Some of them see gorgeous crystal cities, staggeringly beautiful, magnificent architecture, enormous and gorgeous. And we all end up discovering that there is a life review, what Danny and Brinkley calls the panoramic life review, where we get to see 
who we are and who we have been from the perspective of being a spiritual being incarnated in a human form whose purpose is to learn to love. And you might want to laugh right now, and that's okay, but I just ask you to keep breathing. And let yourself relax. Because this is science. It's just not popular because the controllers don't want you to know that you're immortal. They don't want you to know that you have a spiritual agenda, that everything you do matters. Because when you're in that panoramic life review, you end up reliving how you made all the other people you know feel. If you caused pain, if you caused hurt, if you caused shame, humiliation, depression, sadness, you get to experience what that person felt as if it was you. And this can go on for quite some time as you relive every event, every situation that you went through. So just let yourself relax and understand that we all go through this. We all have a spiritual self on the other side. And we're wanting to become more and more evolved. We're wanting to become more and more enlightened. And we will reincarnate. It is up to us as to whether we will reincarnate as human again, in the systems of belief that I teach at least, or whether we will handle this new opportunity for what has been called ascension, detailed in all 35 of the world's major spiritual traditions. Ascension is about becoming something new, becoming a being of light, no longer needing to be in a realm of flesh in which you are vulnerable to illness, to disease, to injury, to death, in which you have the ability to levitate, the ability to manifest objects out of thin air, the ability to communicate telepathically, the ability to bilocate yourself, to be in more than one place at the same time, to increase or decrease your physical size, to manifest objects out of thin air, to make yourself lighter or heavier. This is something that has been talked about by Jesus and by so many other great teachers. It's the promise of where all this is taking us as a planet. So again, consider the vastness of yourself, your identity, and then focus that love back into yourself. Give yourself a break. Give yourself some credit. Let yourself just relax. It's not so bad. It's not so crazy. We're going to do this. We're going to get through this together. And again, envision your light radiating into those viral cells, whether they're man-made or not, changing them, lessening their impact, reducing their destructiveness. Planet-wide, a blanket of light covering the planet. If there are people who were storing 23 vials of COVID-19 in their sock drawer, as the briefings have told us, releasing this in a misguided sense of saving the planet, send them love and healing. Let us please not bring out torches and pitchforks and treat everyone who was in this so-called Illuminati as the ultimate villain. So many people are trying to escape and get out. So many people have gotten out. And if someone decides to turn against a group like this and do the right thing for the betterment of humanity, they are a hero. And that is very important. All right, I'm going to close this meditation now and just ask that you share this light and this love with yourself. And remember to be kind to others and just be at peace. And so it is. Amen.